Hi guys, welcome to the ISO Builder. There is somebody on the, the forum who wants to build the Arclinix B ISO from Cinnamon. So at Arclinix, we have this university degree kind of approach that you learn gradually more and more and more. And at some point in time, you may have the need to build your own ISO. So you make then the decisions what will be on my system, what things will I add, what browsers, what editors, and so on. So it's always the same procedure. Once you've seen one of them, you immediately get, yeah, it's always the same. And sure it is. So it has a, let's go to the desktop. And oh, there's something there. And we will git clone something. So console shift V, it's gonna be on our desktop and that's it. You have passed the most difficult part already. That's go get the scripts. And then we have the installation scripts and you have to choose, will I delete my cache packages that I have downloaded so far, or will I use them? So the fastest way is of course, and certainly if you have limitations in bandwidth, right? Choose number 40 because number 40 is gonna check I'm gonna build, of course, the latest number. The latest number is the future, is the one from Arch. And um, that's his, its number, and Arch ISO is the latest version. Of course, you can't um, go back in time. Well, you can, but you don't do that. And then we get the password C in, the packages file is going to be copy pasted over because that's all it is. This contains nada, right? Nothing. This is all it contains. How to bake a cake. You need eggs, you need this, you need flour and so on. That's this. This is what you need. What do you need to build Arclinux B? And actually the essence for cinnamon is down here. Desktop specific, you need cinnamon, Nemo file roller, need cinnamon translations, Mint Locale. And once you figure that out, that's it. That's your desktop. And then all the rest, yeah, you can just have a look at it but it needs to download lots of stuff. It's or either already downloaded, right? Or it needs to be downloaded. And um, I only need to download this amount of <laughs> megabytes, but it will install six gigabytes when it gets compressed again and you get an ISO of two gigabytes. So in the meantime, while I'm talking, he's doing all kinds of things, installing Grub and all that. And you have to be on Arch Linux, you have to be on a system that has Arch ISO, right? So Manjaro is out of the question. You need to be on an Arch Linux based system and then you can build our ISOs. But of course we prefer that you are on Arch Linux, on Arch Linux or Arch Linux because that's 100% uh, sure that's gonna work, right? We test of course on Arch Linux slash Arch Linux. So you scroll down and you see 1090 packages. So almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Creating all kinds of groups. And then finally, finally, let's see at the bottom, not yet, but at some point in time, and that's about now, finally is gonna create the ISO. So in the meantime, you look around, what happened to your computer system is that Control H that you have here Arclinux B out. There will be an ISO later on. In the meantime, it's building. So Arclinux B built. This is where it's building. And this is your future system. If you want to see already, this is your future system. That's going to be squashed. And then later unpacked on your machine. And Calamars is there to do the work for you. So this is um, an update video again to show and to convince myself, of course, that the issue, whatever issue is reported on the forum, has nothing to do with our scripts. Everything works fine. And then we'll figure out for this particular user on what system he is, right? Is he on Arco Linux? Is he on Arch Linux? And what software does he have, etc., etc. The tip of the day is when you start building, which is great, it's, it's really is fun, and that is, you need to scroll up and see the first error that happens. That's the one that matters. At the bottom, always there will be errors, of course, because it, it, 
it's waiting for an ISO, it's going to make all kinds of calculations, but the ISO is not there, so there will be lots of errors in the end. But it's always the first error, and these guys, I don't talk about them, right? It's all good, no problems. As there's an, a red one here as well somewhere, don't talk about these guys. It's all good, no problem. But it's, it's somewhere else, um, an error you've added. For, for instance, you add a package that's on the AUR. You're actually build, you're adding something that's a recipe, that's not yet a package. Anything on AOR needs to be built. So everything that we have, you can check what we have, right, via PAMEC, and have a look, what can I add to my system? Well, anything that's on our repo can be added. Anything that's on Arch Linux can be added, but nothing more. So you can add anything in here, you can add anything in here, anything in here but not the things from AOR that need to be built and if you want to have that you can put it in the private folder it's explained on articlinksb.com I think or you can put it on a local repo or you can put it like us on an internet repo on a github somewhere and you can include it on your ISO but it's that's further down the learning path right the articlinksb website really tells you go change whatever that you do want and don't want I mean it's it is not that difficult to just go in here and then decide control find Vivaldi oh my god Vivaldi is not on the ISO now it is now it is okay to play YouTube and now it's okay to play Netflix voila it's decision time it's your decision time you choose what you want you love uh, some cursors on some fonts of some icons and you want to have immediately want to have them online or drivers right anything goes as long it's in if it's in this list it's okay it's just a hashtag away and then you have it you can have steam on your iso lutris sour brown exonotic big guy one gigabyte but hey it's your ISO and that's the fun right that's what that's the freedom that we give you say so look if we can build the ISO you can build the ISO here it is that's the file that is going to get the Lego blocks on the ISO this is a script to run it and that's it super easy all right have fun